afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Detroit Tigers and the Boston Red Sox. Detroit go to work on ending what's become an Nate Valdi will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? And their ball club is going to have to keep a close eye on this one. This guy's nearing 200 innings on the season, and that's a lot of innings. The guy that takes the ball every five days, I'm sure they're going to watch to see if there are any signs of him tiring early in this one. Hit the other way out toward right field. There to look it in his bets, and that's out number one. Stepping up now, Victor Reyes. And you see what he's done in recent action. Obviously seeing the ball well right now. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Spencer Turnbull gets the starting nod for the Tigers in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, hitters have had their way with this guy this year. This is a stat any pitcher doesn't want to have attached to him. The league hitting over 300. That's righties and lefties hitting over 300 against this guy. That's something he's going to drastically have to improve on. Now batting, Jackie Bradley Jr. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Back up the middle. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Throw into second. And he's going to make it there. Barely as he's in the second base with a double. Next up for the Red Sox, David Ortiz. He's had a real nice season in the batting average department, but he'll need to turn it on a bit down the stretch if he wants a chance at claiming that coveted batting title. Strike taken, the throw. It skips in, and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. Bradley takes his lead at third with one away. This is line to left, and a base hit as the run will come in to score, and that gives the Red Sox a 1-0 lead. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning streak right here, they strike early in this one to keep the mojo working. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. Everyone contributing makes for a fun clubhouse. a look now the pitch and a pitch out nothing doing though and that's ball one time for a look at our umpires in this one behind the plate is Patrick Johnson you know D roll Patty Johnson you know decent strike zone but isn't always super consistent I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers yeah you're going to see a few glares not only from the offensive guys but maybe the guy on the mound as well he needs to be a little bit more consistent but the runners back easily And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Runners on first with one down. On the ground to the left side. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. That is good. The second baseman, Bobby. Go back. Here's the first pitch to him. Pitch is high. The throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Well, should be 2-0, and oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One and one. And 
And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Is swung on and driven out to right center field, a ball that's well hit. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. So a three-run shot to right center field. Home run number 54 thus far. As the Red Sox open it up even further, it's now 4 nothing. What a way to start this one off. Scoreless top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb in the bottom of the first. Batting pitch. And that Not brings in stop. Xander Bogarts. Xander. Bogarts. On a line, that's a base hit into left field. And as you see right there, this streak will continue as he inches forward up the all-time list. At the plate, Christian Vasquez. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. Pitches a cold strike, the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Here comes the 0-1. Runners on his way to third. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Batting it. No Andrew. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He's the eighth man to bat here in the first with five runs already up on the scoreboard. Hit in the air to shallow center. Goodrum is there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. He's three for seven in the series coming in. Swung on and missed for the first strike. So many things run through a pitcher's mind in this situation when your offense gives you a big lead. A, you know you got to pot commit and get aggressive with that fastball. You got to smile on your face because you have the lead, but you want to continue to attack and try and stay in this game as long as possible. The 0 2 once more. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Betts. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. That is good. First pitch of the Harold. at bat on its way. Harold Castro is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Swinging a soft liner, and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Standing in now, Austin Romine. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0 and 1. So far this season, Romine hits in the 240s, so there's room for improvement in that regard. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Striding in, Kristen Stewart. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hit out towards second. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Tigers leave one. They can't chip into that five. Ready now, C.J. Chatham. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. So a solo shot here to left center field. Third home run for him on the year. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Now here comes Ron Gardenhire up out of the dugout. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. A swing and a ground ball to third. And he'll smartly just ensure that this stays a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. 
Now that ball is smoked. Carrying to deep left. Left fielder looking up. It bangs off the billboard and it's out of here. A solo home run there for Mookie. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Now batting, center fielder. Here's Jackie, Jackie Bradley now. We've Bradley. seen these guys go deep three Junior. times so far in this one, guys. D roll some days the fellows walk in with their hitting shoes on, and this looks like one of those games. Yeah, but there's a saying going around the dugout right now. now. There's a fight at the, the bat rack. Paper. Everybody wants a chance to get into that batter's box. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Maddie. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Now back, the designated hitter, J.D. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Here's the first pitch to him. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Now this is slowly hit to short, probably too slowly to get to. And indeed, he won't look at second. He'll just flip it on over to first to take the sure out. Now back, second baseman. Bobby. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Bobby Dahlbeck. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. The last at bat. Oh, and he snags it out of midair, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We play. Digging in the switch. Leading off with of the throw. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch, and he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Another 0 2 home. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Bats on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Jimer Candelario. And he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a dive in recent action. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you, trying to end it quick. So he sets him down swinging. Jimer Candelario is out number two here in the third inning. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Now the pitch. Hanging curveball taken though for a second strike. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. Three up three down for Detroit. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said forcing Leading the off. opposing starter well, well, out of the Red game Sox. before the third inning Not and posting stop. a bunch of runs right Badger. out of the gate was huge for them from a well, confidence well. standpoint and for their outlook moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping their foot on the gas pedal, Matt. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. So he continues to hit the ball well. His second hit of the ball game, and he's aboard on the leadoff single as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you can see, here at this date, he's in a race for the top spot, currently second in the AL in that category. On to first, and as Ernie may have said, it's two for the price of one for the Tigers. Two away. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 
Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. And it's gone as they add still another. Now that so now to the plate, C.J. Chatham. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. And it's off the green monster. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. When you play with fire, you have to expect to get burned once in a while. He's about as hot as you can get right now. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the wall here. Here's Mookie Betts. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. With runners in scoring position this season, Betts is carrying around an absurd batting line, coming in in excess of 500. His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up. High in the air and deep to left center field. Racing back the left fielder, and it's gone into the monster seats. Two runs on the board after the home run by Mookie Betts. His second home run of the game as this lead got even wider. You're Kyle a Funkhauser is going to come on now to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. So here now is Jackie Bradley. Get hard back up the middle. Reined in. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch, and the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the Digging in, Victor Reyes. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. 0-1, here it comes. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Bradley moving in. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batting, the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Out in front of it, strike one. Good cut that time by Cabrera, but he couldn't come up with it. It's 0-2. Man, it's a pitcher you have to love pitching 0-2. Oh Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Fouled off. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Oni pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Dahlbeck is there, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Tigers. Lead looks in. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to bat will be the first baseman, David Ortiz. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Here's J.D. Martinez as he lifts it in the air to right field. Stewart has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Now batting, the second baseman, Bobby. Digging in once again, Bobby Dahlbeck. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Chopped at third. Tough to get two. One there. On to first, and it's another double play. They're second in the first four innings as that one will retire the side. Around the horn they go. Five to. 
Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. Should be no trouble for Bradley, and there's out number one. Now batting, catcher, Austin. First pitch on its way. Austin Romine will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. Fouled away. Fouled off. Ready with another 0 2. And it's fouled away. Another 0 and 2 coming. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that in. Here's Xander Bogarts now, and he's the reigning American League Player of the Month. Xander. Oh, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it high and deep out to left field. Reyes is going to get back, and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Now so striding Shepard. forward now, Christian Vasquez. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And it looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw in the Tiger bullpen. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. And he'll pull into second with one away. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat really well. And after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at. So you can say, hey. Oh, and he's into third safely with the stolen base. Here's the 0 1 pitch. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Ah, uh, but the throw will be well late. So a good play, but it's all for naught, as that'll be an infield single. The third base Well, that's what wheels can do for you, Dero. You can see this right here on this replay. He just simply outruns the white rabbit. He just outruns the baseball. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. You know why? Because this is the one tool you can't teach. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. But if you got no wheels, newsflash, you got no wheels. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. Owen won the count. Runners at the corners, two men out. Curveball bounces, and that gets by to the backstop. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Here it comes on nothing and two. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. Grounder down the line at third. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. I'll tell you, they're posting video game numbers here. I mean, that's their 11th run of the game, and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Just an absolute onslaught from this offense. At the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. That's a strike to throw down. And oh, the offline throw as this takes off down the line in left field. And the runner is in from second. And the second run will score as well. Well, 
we all know that errors happen, but not all errors are equal. That one was especially costly as two runners cross the plate. Those are game changers, no doubt about it. One and one to count. Now here's the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So three runs on three hits, one error in the inning. And standing in, Nico Goodrum will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Nico Goodrum goes down to become the first out in the sixth inning. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. And there's out number two. The center field at number four. Cameron. Here's Cameron Maben now. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers. And this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, He's going to probably call a meeting after this. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Bradley is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Three up, three. Will Burroughs gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this. Now, now, now. Pitching for the Tigers. Number 37. So, ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Now back, Jumped all over that hit. first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't oh, able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. And the pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So a line drive single to center makes it two hits for him this afternoon. And you can now see back. on the graphic there, he currently Second leads the Red Sox Bobby. in that department. Go back. At the plate now, Bobby Dahlbeck. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Gone! So a two-run shot to left center, his second of the game, as the blowout continues. It's getting pretty comical now. now. Their sixth home run of the game, and they're not done yet. They say hitting is contagious, and apparently that applies to the long ball. It's looking like batting practice out there. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting. Stepping into the box, Christian Vasquez. He's working on a one for three thus far. Fly ball out toward left center field. Maven on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So they get a couple. Josh Taylor is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 72. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98. 0 1. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back to back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. Miguel Cabrera is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 and 1. A ball and a strike to Miguel Cabrera. The 1-1 home. Hit toward the right side. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Jonathan Scope 
is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. The 0 2 delivery. No, that's down. Taylor is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief Not pitcher, bad. you'd that's want a guy good. that throws a lot of strikes, oh. that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. Behind 0-2 now. And he fouls this one off. First and second now, one man out. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. The next 0 2 pitch to him misses outside. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal that at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Fouled away. Here it comes on nothing and two. No runs, three hits. One error for the Tigers thus far. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him in the end. Ready for another chance. Andrew Benintendi. So far, two for three in this one. No left fielder. Andrew. Benintendi. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fly ball right down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. And it goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit now this afternoon. John base. Schreiber comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. He's not going to complain, but he was thinking what the rest of us were thinking when that left his bat. Home run number two. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Runner at third here, nobody out. Hard liner to center field. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Yeah, they've been crushing it at the plate all game long. As 16 runs on the scoreboard can attest, not much it can say or do on the other side of it. Just have to get over it and get after it again next time. Mookie Betts will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. You heard about the hat trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in the baseball game. That's for the Red Bull. In now, Jackie Bradley Jr. As he'll send the first one he sees on the ground to second. And he can't make the play as he overruns it, but that should be scored as an infield single. And he's safe. You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. Pitch misses low. The throw down is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Line drive to center field. Base hit and that'll get a run in. This is just bordering on ridiculous now, guys. 19 runs in one game. To say that they're having some success at the plate would be like saying some kids are excited at Christmas. Into the box, J.D. Martinez. One ball, no strikes to count. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And it bangs off the monster. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. The more things change, the more they stay the same. This guy's been producing at the plate all year long, and this at bat is no different. 
he's probably surprised it didn't leave the yard after the season he's having, but he'll just have to settle for a double. That's in there. Base hit. And the second run will score as well. Yeah, Matt, hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this far out of hand, especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. Gone! So a two-run shot to left center. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as they just continue to pour it on here. I almost can't believe I'm saying this, but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance? Yeah, Matty B. Well, d -Roy, you kind of expect a high-scoring game with that green monster here at Fenway. Yeah, it changes your whole mindset. Right center's out of the equation. Dead right field's out of the equation. Goes to 380 at its deepest part. Unless Unless you want to hit one down to pesky pole, you're looking to pepper that green monster. Andrew. Digging in and looking for more, Andrew Benintendi. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. That's a good pitch right there, but you know, as a base stealer, when you're in a box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet, so he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. Soto, a 25-year-old, this is his second year as a major leaguer. Popped him up. Candelario over to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. Coming to the plate now, C.J. Chatham. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. Running hard, he's digging for second. Around second, looking for the cycle. The relay, but he is in there with a triple. C.J. Chatham just hit for the cycle. What a thrill for him and everybody here in attendance for that matter. Wow, this is great, man. I've seen a few others besides this one, and it is really exciting for everyone, even the broadcaster. It's such a rare... And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Now that better for them. Jackie... To the plate now, Jackie Bradley Jr. as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Up next steps Kristen Stewart. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Dahlbeck backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. The batter. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Ooh that was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Now a little pop-up off toward the first base side. And he'll put this away for the second out. Now batter. The, the next team. batter, Jamer Candelario. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. No balls in one strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Tigers, and they remain well, well behind. For the Red Sox. The first, first pitch of the at-bat. Swing, and Three. there it goes. Deep to left field. On to Lansdowne, and gone. Solo shot here to left, and so he ties the big redhead with home run number 70 on the year as this lead got even wider. Stepping in now, J.D. Martinez. 
as he'll send a ground ball down to third on the first so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out that for the red ball. Digging in to try it again. Bobby Dahlbeck. One run in and one gun so far in the center. Liner toward right center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches. But when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over it. And the runner's breaking for third. In there, now the throw. It's wide, and he's in there with the stolen base. One out and a runner on third. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he finds a way to focus on the baseball there as he has it for a big out number two. Stepping into the box, Christian Vasquez. Runner in scoring position with two gone. He's set and the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and that will end. Settle for just the one. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Cameron Maben, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. The left field, number 22. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his. First pitch on its way. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Now Cabrera swings and misses on a good pitch that time as he's rung up for route number two. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Well, he's just been setting him up and knocking him down all afternoon. We've seen a lot of punch outs from him where he didn't get much resistance. Three pitches right there and see you later. And it's 0-2 to Scope. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams.